guys, I hope you're all doing good. Welcome back to my channel. Today I went to my guilty pleasure shop, which as you guys all know is Poundland. I go in there, I go crazy, I get lots of stuff that I probably don't need. And this month's video is all going to be about Halloween stuff because we're having a big Halloween party for the kids in the house this year. It's the first time we've had it, we normally have it at my mum's house. So I have managed to pick up three huge bags full of stuff and I can't wait to show you. There's another few bits and pieces in there but it is mostly Halloween stuff. So let's get in and I will show you what I got. No particular order, just going to grab the first thing in the bag and then just show you. First things first, I got some balloons because what is a party without balloons? I got these ones here and they're just an 18 pack of black and white balloons. The black ones are just all black, just plain. And then the white ones, I've got these scary faces on them. I think these are really cool and I think the kids will love them as well. 18 in a pack is really good as well. I don't know if they'll light up. The writing on it kind of looks as if they should light up, but they don't. I think 18 in a pack is really good, so I'm just going to blow these up, like not with helium, just blow them up myself, and then just scatter them around the house. The next few things I'm going to show you aren't Halloween related, but they are still kind of like ornaments. So I've seen these the other day and I never picked them up and I couldn't stop thinking about them, and it's this. It's these little, I think they're French Bulldogs. Yeah, they're little French Bulldog puppies. I got two of them, one for Ella's room and one for Charlie's room. I just think they're so cute and they definitely look more than just a pound. So I got one for Ella's room and one for Charlie's room. And I just think these are adorable. Plus my brother's got a French Bulldog. So as soon as Ella seen these, she was like, oh, it's a little Victor. So we had to pick one up. So I got two of these, one for each of their rooms. And then also for Ella's room, I seen this little hair and I thought it was really nice. Not the kind of colour I would have gone for, so I'm going to spray this another colour. And this is quite like a shallow ornament, so it means I can set this on a little picture shelf and it's still going to fit. I think I might have to put it sideways, which I quite like. And I'll probably spray this maybe like white or pink, not quite sure yet, but yeah, I thought that was really nice. These are all new in their homeware stuff because they've actually had the same homeware pieces for ages. I see they're starting to get more stuff in now. Another non-Halloween piece is this and it is a wheelie bin for your desk. But I got this for Ella because she really liked it when we went in and she wanted it for her doll's house. It's the same kind of colour as their doll's house as well, that kind of like blue and pink. So I thought, why not? It is just a pound. And she was having a lot of fun wheeling that around in the shop, so I got that. And I thought these were really nice. I've got two little skulls, they're black, and I thought they'd be really nice sitting like maybe in our fire with some candles on or something. And they actually light up, I'm going to show you. So I think once they're done, that's it. You're not really going to replace the batteries on these because they're probably like a weird battery. But they've got red eyes, so I think they're really cool and they're sparkly. They're really lightweight and also I think a set of two always works best. So yeah, I've got these guys here. The only thing is with them is they get glitter everywhere. Okay, next up are these little Halloween bags. I think these are really cool. I actually picked up four of these. One for Ella and then one for each of my nephews to put their Halloween goodies in them. So they're like just little bags, little bucket bags. And they're made of like kind of fleecy material. And I've just got skulls on. So I've got one, two, three, four. Four of these. And they also had them in purple and in green. And I think they also had one that was black with like colourful designs on it. I just thought they were nice and you can bring them out every year. I actually think I got these last year as well, but I just rebought them anyway. <laughs> I actually love this next thing that I've seen and it is a photo backdrop, but like a creepy one. So it says great for parties, perfect for selfies, and there are two scenes to collect. Oh, I'm not sure which one I've got then. Yeah, I've got the graveyard one, so I thought this was really cool. So I've got the kind of graveyard scene, so it's like loads of tall trees and then like little graves and they say like RIP on them. This is quite big, it is a metre by a metre and a half. And I thought I could just put that up on one of my walls and we can use it to take like selfies, Instagram pictures, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I thought that was a good one. I should maybe I've got two of them, but I just got the one. I also got this little spooky projector because I thought that would just be quite cool for the kids. You literally just put AA batteries in them and you just turn it on and it puts a spooky projection onto your walls. I think we'll have our lighting in the house quite low on our Halloween night, so this hopefully will work quite well. I'll let you know on my vlog and you'll see it if it worked okay. But yeah, three AA batteries it takes, just a pound. I thought, do you know what, if it doesn't work, it's hardly any money lost, so I got that. I never got loads of chocolate stuff because if you guys see my little haul, you'll know that I've already got loads of Halloween sweets. But I 
couldn't resist these and it's just the big chocolate eyes. I think they work quite well like decoratively as well so I got two packs of these and yeah a lot of the other Halloween sweets were like chewets and lollies and I'm not really big on Ella having those kind of sweets. I prefer her to have chocolate just because I worry that she'll choke. So yeah got these and I think they will look good in a kind of clear bowl because they'll look quite spooky on the table. I also got two of these which are like spooky lace tablecloths. These ones are quite big, they are like over 100 centimetres like wide and 7 to 8 centimetres in depth so they cover like a table quite well. We've already got another two of these from last year at my mum's house but I thought these would be really nice to just basically drape everywhere, like drape them over my buffet to cover, around the bottom of the fire, over the table for the buffet. I just think they are really cool, it's kind of like lacy kind of spider's web effect. But yeah, these are really good and plus when you're storing them away, they hardly take up any space at all. So I got two of those. And this actually might be one of my favourite purchases that I got. And it's like pom-poms, like party pom-poms, but these ones are black. And I kind of wish I maybe got another packet of these. I might go and get some more, but basically it's just those pom-poms that are like paper and you fluff them up and I'm going to hang them up as if it's kind of like a spooky, deadly party. A lot of the Halloween stuff is really, really tacky and quite gaudy, but I think that between like the black stuff and the black skulls and the other bits that I've picked up, you'll see, it's actually quite a classy kind of Halloween vibe that I'm going for. It's not really too spooky and gory, it's more just like really gothic. So yeah, I love these, I think these are really cool and they'll probably sell out really fast. <laughs> just when I said I never went tacky, this is probably the only really tacky thing I got and it is a massive holographic skeleton but it is quite like glitzy and still a wee bit glam so it's five foot, I'm planning on just hanging this like in the middle of the wall or from a door frame so yeah I thought this will take up a lot of space as well because when you're doing parties they cost a fortune to decorate and the bigger things you can get the better because it just covers up more space and it just makes the room feel like it's properly dressed so yeah love this big skeleton I think that's really nice I love these as well, I love loads of the stuff I got these are Halloween poison labels so any of the buffet stuff that I'm going to do or any of my little mason jars I'm going to stick these on the front of it and it's like graveyard juice, 100% organic hen's teeth, <laughs> eat, drink and be scary. There's some really cool things, poison potion, witch's brew, I think they're lovely for sticking on everyone's drinks or any of the buffet stuff. So I've got these and I think there might be two sheets in there. Yeah, there are two sheets in there, so there's loads and that was obviously a pound. I always feel the need to tell you it's a pound, you know it's a pound land, so why do I always say that? I also got another skeleton because I was kind of torn between that one and the holographic one and I thought you're in Poundland, get a grip. This one is a four foot skeleton but it's glow in the dark. Hopefully this works, if not I might put it outside and turn off my outside light so that when everyone comes in this is all glowing on the outside door or hanging next to the door. I thought that was really cool and again something you can store away quite easily for the next year. Love these, these are like kind of day of the dead Halloween skull lanterns and you literally just pop these up and you can put tea lights under them but I just wouldn't because that's a total fire hazard. If anything I would maybe get those little like electronic ones, little electronic tea lights you can just put batteries in. So yeah I got these, there's a two pack but I got four of them, I'm planning on trying to hang them somewhere so I'll need to find places to hang because I think they'll be really nice. And again they just collapse down and you can just put them in a storage box and they're not going to take up so much space. It was actually my mum that spotted this next item and she said maybe if we take off these little hearts and put the labels on we can make these the little like poison potion bottles but this was really good this was in like the homeware section probably for like a bathroom or something but i think these little bottles work really well for like putting the labels on so i love that little piece Ella's terrified of this but i got this hanging bat and it's really nice i like it it's like fluffy and again it's not too tacky it's just like a kind of black more gothic halloween look so i think that's really good it's quite big Maybe should have got a couple of these, but one's enough. I've actually got it upside down. But yeah, if I can manage to find somewhere to hang that, that'll look really cool. <laughs> I told you it was a big haul, didn't I? Got these little skull lights. They are just battery operated. I've seen them working in the shop and they've actually got quite more of a bluey toned glow, which I quite like. So yeah, just 10 skulls on, is it 10? 12. 12 skulls on a string, but you've got to individually put them on. So a wee bit of work and hassle but never mind. Takes two AA batteries and there's all different ones. There's these, there are claws I think it was, there's little ghosts, there are loads of different ones. I think there might be other skeletons but they're coloured 
So yeah, love these. Again, black and white kind of theme, so they work in really well. And I just thought if we're having buffet food, then we don't want the hassle of cleaning up plates. So I just got some paper ones. So I got these ones here that are just kind of black and white. Again, that kind of day of the dead, dawn of the dead type of skull head. I think that's really nice. And I like the fact that these are kind of like that shape where they're all cut out. They look as if they're really expensive. That's an eight pack, so I'll use probably all of them as like platter plate. I thought they look quite good. And I don't know if I'm going to use these on the night. I might put crisps in them, but I think these are supposed to be like popcorn tubs if you're having like a movie night. I don't think I'll get the chance to use these because Fraser hates scary films. He's such a big scared cat, so <laughs> I don't think I'll get the chance to use these. But these are really nice, like big popcorn tubs. I wish they did these all year round, like in the kind of red kind of movie style popcorn tubs because I would definitely get them. I'm such a sucker for stuff like that. So there's two in a pack and it matches the plates or the platter plates that I got so I thought they looked really nice and the last two Halloweeny bits I got were these two little pumpkins these are gold pumpkins I've not got any other kind of like colours in it just now maybe silver the holographic silver I suppose but I got these two gold pumpkins because you literally just put tea light candles in them I don't know if we will use real candles on the night just because there's so much other flammable stuff around we might just get the little kind of battery operated tea lights but I got the two of these and they've got stars on so I'm hoping that when the light is in them and it kind of projects onto the wall there's going to be stars everywhere so I really love them I think they're gorgeous so because I love them so much I got another one and it's this skull one I think this is really nice I don't know why I just really like it again it's got like stars on it on the side it's also painted like orange on the inside so I think once this is lit it's going to let off a nice orangey light but it's pretty terrifying and I also like the colours of it. There's another couple of skull ones like this, I think they might be silver and gold that kind of match in with this but I thought that that was a nice contrast to have one that's kind of different from these ones. Ella also managed to sneak in a pack of bouncy balls, I told her we weren't getting these but she managed to put them in anyway so we have a bag of bouncy balls which I might actually keep aside as a little prize for any of the games we do at Halloween. I don't know, I think that she's maybe a bit small for the these as well because they are so tiny but we'll maybe just leave these as a prize for Jack. <laughs> and you're going to think I'm mad but I've already started on my Christmas decoration buying because I've seen these and thought they are exactly what I was looking for this year for my kind of like theme of decorating and if I don't pick them up now they're going to get sold out and I'm going to be really annoyed but it's these little bits of are they holly? I don't know. They're kind of like snowy holly with like snowy berries. I'm not quite sure what they are, but they were exactly what I wanted. I just think these are gorgeous. I think this year what I'm planning on doing is wrapping all of my stuff in brown paper. I did some of it last year, but this year I'm going to do it all in brown paper, probably with some kind of metallic ribbon, and then put one of these on with a brown tag. And I think they just look so nice and really expensive, but there's six in a pack. So like that's one complete piece there, they're just one on a bendy wire which is really handy when you're coming to decorating and wrapping. So yeah I got this and this and this, I got three packs of them but what I actually thought they'd be good for as well if you're wanting to add a little bit extra to your Christmas tree you could probably actually tie a few of these throughout your Christmas tree to give it a little kind of like bit of snowy look, I thought that'd be quite nice but yeah I've got them for my Christmas decoration this year for the wrapping and I think these look really good. I only picked up three, maybe should have got more, but there's six in a pack. I don't know if I've got any more presents than that to wrap this year. Not for Ella's presents because I just wouldn't go to all that fuss, but more for like mums and dads and family members, I would go to a bit more effort and do a little bit something different like that. So guys, I think that is everything that I've shown you from my splurge and Halloween stuff in Poundland. I'm going to use all of this every year. I've also got stuff from last year that my mum picked up in Poundland. I just think the quality of this stuff is so good. It's party stuff, it's not too serious, plus it's all very lightweight, easy to fold, put it away or other stuff you can just bin. It's not really expensive. I think this whole haul came to £38, but that was also including juice that I had, a toy for Ella, and I also got my very trusty yogurt covered cranberries because they are my vice when I go in there. I absolutely love them. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would love if you hit subscribe and stick around for more videos in the future. Leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite item was and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.